Hello everyone, uh, this is a lesson on Metz Literacy. We are mainly gonna do terminology for financial statements. We're gonna look at the example, one of the financial statements, the bank statement. In a bank statement, it will write the bank's name and, and the logo and write the person's account and all of that. But what I want us to do is to look at the terminology that is used in the bank statement. Okay, on your bank statement, you'll have a date, meaning that it will be the date of the transaction that has happened. The transaction is what has happened, money going into the account or going out of the account. Then the, trans the, the, the transaction, the description, what happened. And then you'll have a debit and a credit and the balance. Now, with the debit, when money goes out of the account, it's debited. And when money goes into the account, it will be credited so then you have this opening balance the opening balance is the amount that you had last month that you start with a new month then your date is on the 105 then it's opening balance and then the opening balance of this person is 392.36 cents then on the fifth there was a transaction that transaction was what was bank charges when you have an account you pay for that account so the bank charges, what is the amount here, is 104.50, means, meaning that the bank has charged you this amount, meaning that it will deduct it from your account. That's why it's debited. The next transition in this account happened on the 10th of the 5th. What happened? Pick and pay. It means that this person has bought a pick and pay. So money went out of the account. So it's 53 rand. 60 cents he, he bought something at pick and pay and then on the 15th the salary went in usually it will write the company's name maybe we are working at uh, upside to say APSA salary and then that amount will go into the account that's why it's credited maybe somebody deposits money into your account it will be credited if the money goes into the account it will be credited and when the money goes out of the account it will be debited now um let's say you want to know how much you have at a particular date that will be the closing account so let's say in an exam um they they ask you maybe they they put an a here an a like that here and then the question says find a so you're going to look at the statement and say this person started with this man 3,392.36 and then what happened here this money was debited meaning that this money went out of the account so you want to subtract it he 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 had or she had 392 minus 104 comma 50 so it means here in your answer sheet you will write a and then your a will be 287,86 meaning that on the fifth this is the money that they had in their account okay now i want us to look at the closing balance the closing balance let's say on the 30th of 5 2021 and then closing balance The closing balance is the money that will be in the account at, 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 at that particular date. So what you want to do, you want to subtract. We've subtracted this. Now we're going to subtract this one because it was debited. And then there was a salary that went in. So we're going to add the salary. Then our closing balance will be the total amount. Let's calculate that. Right. After our, our balance will be, that will be our closing balance. So when they ask you a closing balance, they want the amount at the end, at that particular point. So it is 2,595.06. Okay. Now, with um, statements, sometimes it's loan. There are different kinds of statements. It's not just bank statement. So these are the things that you look for. And then they'll ask you questions, find what, find, it, it's not difficult. You just need to practice them. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.